Hello beautiful coffee people. Today I want to show you how to get the most out of your Flare 58. It is a difficult machine to get used to, but with a bit of preparation you can get really good consistent results from it. So I'm going to show you step by step how I make good espresso with it. We're going to go through puck prep, we're going to go through kettle temperatures, we're going to go through pressure profiles. By the end of this you should be able to get repeatable results just like I'm getting. So let me switch to voiceover and let's get going. Okay, so step number one. Basically, we want to turn everything on. So we're going to turn on the espresso machine. We're going to let the chamber heat up and we'll whack the kettle on. We'll get our water up close to boiling. One thing that's really helped me get repeatable results is heating up the portafilter as well. So I just put it on the top of my kettle and let the steam warm things up. I'm setting my kettle at 95 degrees Celsius, or if you're American, somewhere around 203 degrees Fahrenheit. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to get my beans prepared. I keep my beans in these single dose jars to keep them as fresh as I can and also who wouldn't want to have these single dose jars sitting on your coffee bar they look really cool for the grinder I'm using the fellow opus which out of the box is a pretty good grinder for the price it is a little bit tough to dial in but with some trial and error I'm on a number two setting with a micro adjustment of a minus one click on the inner blue dial. This setting works really well for these beans, which are light medium roast from Brazil. Natural process, they're grown at an altitude of 1300 meters, so they're not too dense, even for a light roast. And I find the flavors from these beans really open up with the chocolatey toffee notes. Not so much on the floral spectrum, but more like a subtle bourbon. Mmm, whiskey. Anyway, I am dosing into a blind shaker here and weighing out the output just to make sure that I get 18 grams out. And now our portafilter should be nice and warm. I'll just wipe it down to make sure everything is dry. Now, if it's not dry, you risk giving the water an easier path of least resistance, which is going to result in channeling, which is bad. Why is it bad? Well, you want the water to flow through evenly through the coffee, right? Otherwise, it can find that path of least resistance and it will flow through more in one spot, meaning that the water isn't flowing through all the coffee and you're not extracting all the goodness from the coffee. So even flow is good, channeling bad. I do have some of the WDT tools here, but after watching a recent Lance Hendrick video, I've just been using the blind shaker and then tamping straight away with two tamps. I'm kind of annoyed at how well this works because I spent a lot of money on these damn WDT tools, but hey, coffee is a journey. Let's not forget our puck screen and we'll gently lock in the portafilter. By the way, if you have made it this far, please hit the subscribe button below. If you do, it's going to inspire me to make more videos like this. We're ready now to get our water into the chamber. So 95 degree Celsius water and we're going to fill up about halfway and then begin to lift the lever as well. So we fill in any of those air pockets above the puck. If you do have air pockets, you'll likely notice some spurting, which again is bad and it just makes a mess. So our water is now sitting there above the puck screen and we're going to begin our pull. Up to around one to two bars of pressure to start with. We're gonna hold there for about five seconds and then gently ramp up to six or seven bars. And I like to hold it there until I get to a 20 gram yield and then slowly back off the pressure, ending the shot at about four or five bars. Now we put in 18 grams of coffee and the aim was 36 grams out in around 30-ish, 35 seconds. So we're right on the money here. And there you have it, a really nice espresso. Do you have a Flare 58? How have your shots been? Do you find it difficult to get used to the machine? Are you getting repeatable results? I wanna hear from you, so drop a comment and I will be sure to reply. 